Hi there! I'm Mike MacArthur, librarian at the Oshkosh Public Library, and welcome to another episode of Librarian Learns. This is the series where I take a look at some local Oshkosh history that either I've been asked about or I've wondered about myself. Today we're looking at Sawyer and Harris, the lions of the library, felines of the Fox Valley, pride of Oshkosh, the kittens of Washington Avenue. I will admit I'm cheating on this episode just a little bit as I'm going to be using a video that I produced for another project. However, I still get questions about the lions and people really seem to like them. And I don't think people really fully understand the history of it, which has some uh, interesting little twists and turns and anecdotes. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at Sawyer and Harris. The iconic lion statues flanking the library's entrance, nicknamed Sawyer and Harris in honor of the library's original benefactors, were not added until over a decade after the library first opened its doors. Former Oshkosh librarian Mara Monroe tells the story. So the original drawings for the library did show lions on either side, but there wasn't enough money to get them right away in 1900 when the building opened. In the fall of 1912, the library board received a letter from um, John Hicks, who was publisher of the Northwestern and a library board member, offering two bronze lions, which were sculpted by Gaetano Centanovi of Florence, Italy. And the letter said that these lions would be arriving in mid-September, so they were obviously already on their way at the time of the September 13th special meeting of the library board. Two letters were read at that meeting. The first one was from Hicks, offering these lions. And the second one was from Tuntanova himself, offering a marble bust of Hicks in gratitude for the many commissions that he had received from Hicks. Um, Trontanova had also done the busts of Harris and Sawyer, which still are under the library dome. The gift of the lions was accepted promptly with, uh, without dissension. The gift of the bust was uh, not quite as um, easily accepted. They did have to have a roll call vote, and there were nays, uh, but in the end the gift was accepted. Immediately thereafter, a resolution was put forward that in the future the library board would not accept any gifts without discussion of their suitability ahead of time. By the mid-1990s, the Lions were showing substantial signs of deterioration, and a detailed assessment revealed an urgent need for refurbishment. On February 10, 1998, the Lions were removed from their perches and traveled to Detroit for restoration. After six months of work, the Lions were reinstalled in August and celebrated their centennial in 2012. So hey, wasn't that informative? Wasn't it so nice to listen to people with better voices than mine? Interesting postscript to that story. Around the same time that the lines were installed in October of 1912, Teddy Roosevelt, who was running for president again, visited Oshkosh to give a speech. Roosevelt was quoted as saying, I see you people have made the same mistake that has been made by so many libraries in the East. You have put up lions, but I would rather see the American bison. The buffalo lends itself to decorative purposes, and it is so genuinely American. I think it would have looked pretty cool. Every library has lions. We would have been the only one with bison. The next day, Roosevelt goes to Milwaukee and ends up getting shot. Hey, so we learned something. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. If you have comments, corrections, or stories you'd like to share, please list them in the comments below, or you can contact me here at the library using the links in the description. And with that, I'll see you next time.